So you're minding your own business, sipping your morning coffee, and then BAM, zombies. And no, I don't mean your co-workers before their first cup of java. I'm talking about the real deal, the walking, or in some cases running dead. Picture this, one moment you're deciding between a French roast or a cappuccino, and the next you're looking at a world where the express in espresso takes on a whole new meaning. The morning rush is no longer about getting to work on time, it's about outrunning the zombie horde. Now I know what you're thinking. Zombies, really? But let's be honest, with the way things have been going lately, would it really surprise anyone? And just like you wouldn't go into a job interview without brushing up on some witty anecdotes about your previous work experience, you wouldn't want to face a zombie apocalypse unprepared, would you? In the grand scheme of things, not all zombies are created equal. Some are as slow as a snail carrying a week's worth of groceries uphill. They're the kind you can sidestep while texting and not spill a drop of your latte. But then, there are those that are as fast as a cheetah that's just down to double espresso. The kind that you definitely don't want to encounter when you're still halfway through your morning caffeine fix. The thing is, a zombie apocalypse doesn't have to be the end of the world. Well, technically, it is, but you get what I mean. It's all about being prepared, having a game plan, and knowing how to handle your undead opponents, whether they're sluggish stumblers or speedy sprinters. So buckle up and get ready to dive into the world of zombie survival. We're going to dissect, discuss, and deliver the best strategies to ensure that you survive, thrive, and maybe even have a little fun in the face of a zombie apocalypse. But fear not, dear viewers, for today we're going to discuss how to ace this undead test. Let's start with our slow-moving friends, you know, the ones who make a sloth look like an Olympic sprinter. Imagine you're facing a zombie that's walking at a pace that makes a snail's day look like a whirlwind tour. Easy pickings, right? Well, not so fast, my friend. These slow stumblers might not be winning any marathons, but they've got all the time in the world to catch their dinner. And guess what? You're on the menu. Now you might be thinking, I could outwalk these guys in my sleep. And while that might be true, here's where things get tricky. Slow zombies are like that tortoise in the fable. They keep plodding along, steady as they come. You, on the other hand, need to eat, sleep, and occasionally stop to tie your shoelaces. See the problem? They're relentless. They won't stop. They won't pause for a snack or a nap. They just keep coming. And while you're catching 40 winks, they're catching up. It's a marathon, not a sprint, folks. So, how do we deal with our slow but determined friends? Patience and planning, my dear friends, patience and planning. You can't just outrun them and hope they'll lose interest. They won't. They're like that annoying telemarketer that just keeps calling. And don't underestimate them because of their speed. Yes, they're slow, but they're also persistent. They've got one thing on their mind and they won't stop until they get it. So the best strategy? Plan your moves. Make sure you have a safe place to rest and refuel. And always, always keep an eye on your surroundings. Don't get complacent. These guys are masters of the slow sneak attack. And remember, humor is your best weapon. It lightens the mood, keeps your spirits up. After all, it's hard to be scared of something when you're laughing at it, right? So keep your wits about you and remember to keep that sense of humor handy. Remember, just because they're slow doesn't mean they can't sneak up on you when you least expect it. Now let's talk about your average, everyday, run-of-the-mill zombies. Not too fast, not too slow, just right in the middle, the, the Goldilocks of the undead world. Imagine this, you're strolling down the street, minding your own business. Out of nowhere you spot a shambling figure. It's not sprinting like Usain Bolt, nor is it moving at a snail's pace. Nope, this is your average speed zombie, and it spotted you as its next snack. Now what do you do? The answer, my friends, lies in balance a harmonious blend of offense and defense. Let's think about it. These zombies are like your everyday average Joe. They're not winning any Olympic golds, but they're not gonna let you walk past without a fight. Your offensive strategy should be straightforward. Think of it like a game of chess. You've gotta outsmart these creatures. Use your surroundings. Lead them into traps. A narrow alleyway, for example, can be your best friend. It limits their movement and allows you to pick them off one by one. But remember, offense is only half the battle. You've got to have a solid defensive strategy too. You're not dealing with a tortoise here. These zombies can move and they can surprise you. Make sure you have a quick exit route. Always keep your back to a wall 
and never ever underestimate their numbers. One minute you're dealing with a lone wanderer, the next you're surrounded by a horde. Let's not forget the importance of staying in shape. You don't need to be a marathon runner, but a bit of cardio can go a long way. It's like they say, you don't have to outrun the zombies, you just have to outrun your friends. Just kidding, teamwork is key in a zombie apocalypse. So, dealing with average speed zombies, it's all about balance, my friends. Remember, the key is staying one step ahead. Use your brain, use your surroundings, and above all, don't panic. After all, when it comes to surviving the zombie apocalypse, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And finally, for those zombies who've clearly had a few too many energy drinks. Now we've covered the slow pokes and those middle of the road mosiers, but what about the Usain Bolts of the undead world? I'm talking about the kind of zombies that can give a cheetah a run for its money. Yes, you heard it right. We're dealing with the speedy zombies. So what's the game plan? Well, it's simple. You've got to be fast, agile, and a quick decision maker. Let's break it down. Firstly, speed. Now, I'm not suggesting you start training for the Olympics, but a bit of cardio wouldn't hurt. Think of it as a life or death treadmill session. When it comes to speedy zombies, your best bet is to get those legs pumping. Remember, every second counts. Next up, agility. You see, these fast zombies, they're not the sharpest tools in the shed. They might be quick, but they're not exactly agile. Use this to your advantage. Zig when they zag. Duck, dive, dodge, you get the picture. It's all about outmaneuvering them. Lastly, quick decision making. In the blink of an eye, you might need to decide between climbing up a tree or diving into a river. You don't have time for a pros and cons list, folks. Trust your gut and make a split second decision. And here's a fun little tip. Always keep a can of energy drink with you. No, not for you, silly, for the zombie. Toss it their way. And while they're distracted, trying to figure out what just happened, you can make your grand escape. So, well, there you have it. When dealing with speedy zombies, it's all about being fast, agile, and quick on your feet. When it comes to fast zombies, remember this, it's not about outrunning the zombie, it's about outrunning your buddy. So there you have it, folks, slow, average, or fast, we've got a plan for every zombie out there. Let's jog our memory a little, shall we? When dealing with the slow and lethargic zombies, Remember, patience is key. Take your time, strategize, and outmaneuver them. They may have the advantage of not needing to rest, but you've got the upper hand with your speed and agility, and if all else fails, just walk briskly. You should be fine. Next up, we've got the middle-of-the-road average speed zombies. These ones are a bit trickier, but remember, distraction is your best friend. Use noise to your advantage, lure them away, and then make a swift exit. It's like pulling off a magic trick, only instead of a rabbit, you're pulling yourself out of a hat. And then we have the speedsters, the bolt lightning, fast and furious zombies. Now these ones are a real challenge, but don't worry, we've got a plan. Remember, obstacles are their downfall. Use the environment, set up traps and keep them guessing. It's like a high stakes game of tag and you're it. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all seems a bit daunting, but let's lighten the mood a bit. Think of it as a bizarre game show. The zombies are the contestants and you're the challenge. The goal is simple. Stay alive and keep the show running. If you can do that, you'll walk away with the grand prize, your life. So as we wrap up, remember these strategies. Patience with the slow movers. Distraction for the average speedsters and a game of high stakes tag with the fast ones. With these tips in your arsenal, you're ready to take on any zombie apocalypse that comes your way. And remember, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, don't panic, just remember these tips and you'll be just fine.